So a quick little addendum to the beginning of this video. Just so you know, the frame rate issues that we have in the beginning with the CC are non-existent for the rest of the game. All I do in this video is play in the CC for a bit to show people some options, and it's wonderful and great. The frame rate's a little bit weird, but it is not how it's going to be in the rest of the game. I end up switching to a different computer and it runs smooth as silk there. So please bear with a little bit of the, you know, frame rate. Like, it's not even that noticeable because it's just in the character creator. But yes, so hopefully you can get through this part first. If you want, skip to the end um, where I actually do show off my rider. I do spend quite a bit of time playing around the CC though. So if you can, if you want to just see her, go, go ahead and skip to the end. I appreciate you being here. My real intro will start in a few seconds. Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very excited for. I am also very nervous because I. This is my third time doing this intro. I can't ever get past this screen. <laughs> I'm currently on medium graphics. I'm playing on the, the laptop is hooked up so that I can see it on the TV. I'm recording on my old laptop, so hopefully that works. I don't know if this is gonna work. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Things always go wrong in the very beginning of all my playlists, so please bear with me if, you, if you'd like. If not, I don't blame you. <laughs> and those of you who have been here for a while, we're freaking excited. We're freaking excited. And I just want to get my hand... I've heard things about the character creator, I've seen a little bit of it, but I just want to get my hands on it and play with it myself. I just want to play the game. <laughs> so please, Mass Effect Gods, please let me play the game. Oh my gosh, and I'm, it's on medium, but I'm I'm still having some frame rate issues. I'm just hoping to get past this point. I'm hoping things will be okay. <laughs> Who knows at this point? I tried to have it on high earlier, and that was not that was not gonna happen. That was not gonna happen. Oh man. Oh man, we might we might be there finally. It's been uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes of a loading screen. Of me having to like alt tab out the whole time to try to like make it work because apparently that makes it work. Ah! I am online, you stupid computer. Currently, I'm not in the not in the importer export computer data. Tried to connect. No, I'm not going back to the main menu. I am online. It said I was online earlier. Yeah, I don't even care, man. <laughs> I don't care. I'll be online later. <laughs> no, we're gonna be we're gonna be a girl. Wow, frame rate. I don't even care. Just let me play with the character creator. No, I want to be a girl. Thank you. All right, all right. Let's see how this works. Let's see how this works. Custom appearance. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I'm gonna be so angry if <laughs> this doesn't, doesn't, like, work. Oh, man. Alright, so from what I've heard, um, you have to pick a preset, and then you can change a limited number of things. Uh, I mean, this, this alone might take me an hour or more, you know, so no big deal. This will be like the first video out. This will be the only one out. I'll be like, look, I made one. <laughs> hmm. I have an idea of what I want to do. We'll see if it works. And I have several names listed. <laughs> I have a list. I have a list here and I've had one of them in my, in my head for a very long time, but there's another one that came up recently that I really also liked as well. So... We'll see. All I know is we gotta get the makeup off these ladies. Ooh, she looks cool. The tattoos look rad, by the way. I really like this one. This one's cool. And look at that hair! They finally have decent hair! I mean, really, like, let's give credit where credit is due. They have some decent hair this time around. Oh, that's a cute hairstyle, too! I actually really like that! Oh, look, and the hair moves a little bit! Whoa! I'm impressed. Let's just say I'm impressed. Alright, so let's see the head first head. Alright, alright, time to get down. Let's get down to business to defeat the character customization her. I do like the first face. Cause I know but from what I, what I'm pretty sure you can't do is change the eye shape, lip shape, and nose shape. 
but you can change their size. And you can change your skin color. But I'm not sure if all the options are being shown right now. Like all the hair options that we see. I usually go for a ponytail because that's what I like to have in real life. But I mean, this hair is really quite nice. I mean, if my computer could, you know, handle not... Oh, oh, is that makeup or tattoo under her eyes? That's cool. I'm I'm gonna avoid neon like the plague though. Let's just let's just get that out of the way. I am a bit bummed out at the the rather limited options of the CC, but at least from what I've heard, again, I have I actually haven't you know really gone through and actually done anything yet with any of them hmm. so I like I like the first face well I guess basically what it is what I'm looking at right now for is eye nose and lip shape and then from there I'll mess around with it. Oh, I like her. And then... Okay, so skin tone. Brow, cheek. Wait, wait, so can I mess with the eyes or is it just the size? Yeah, okay, so you can't mess with the eye shape. And I think, I don't know if they've actually confirmed this. Oh, they call it eye sculpting, haha. <laughs> I don't know if they've confirmed this, but I'm pretty sure it's from, um... It's because of Dad Rider. Like, he's gonna look a little bit like you and your twin. And so... You don't... You don't want to accidentally create a monster. You know what I mean? So... But I do think they should have maybe addressed that right off the bat. Like, hey, the character customization is going to be a bit limited, especially compared to Inquisition. Can I not do anything? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know. Okay, okay, okay. You have to... Yeah, okay. You have to do that in Inquisition, too. Oh, okay, so it's not just darker to lighter, maybe. Uh, what? Or lighter to darker or whatever. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 we gotta get the pink, that pink stuff off your face. Okay, you, it looks fine on that skin tone. I don't know, real life, I don't wear makeup, so... But, like, on this skin tone, it does not look good, you know? So much. Well, it looks kind of cool, actually, but... Especially on the lips. But... Alright, let me... Let me try and figure it out. Okay, woo, sort of unrelated announcement, but for any of you who watched my, like, thank you video the other day for over a thousand subscribers... Which everybody seemed to kind of dwell on the fact that I was saying I was not doing so well for some things, you know. But anyway, anyway, the biggest problem was that I was out of, basically out of a job. But I just got a phone call from the place that I applied to. And I'm going to be back doing archaeology next week. So I can't freaking wait. So I'll have to, oh man, I'm going to have to play this game. I'm going to have to play this game a lot before I go. Oh man, we'll figure that out later. But for now, I still have to make my rider. So, okay, I think this is the skin tone I'm going to go with. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I like her face shape, too. No, no, why, why are you... Is it like, click and accept? Be like, yes, this is the one I want. How precise is this? Is it just in, like... I like that it's a gradient scale. I do like that. That that is something I was wanting. So that's good. Um I like I like that. I'm gonna go with that. Brow 
Hi. Okay, wait, wait, wait. All right, this is all night. We got the skin color, right? Let's go for eye color. Basically, skin color, eye color, hairstyle, and hair color are going to be the first things that I mess with. Where's the... Oh, eye color is probably later. Okay. For now, okay, everything is fine. Let's just move on to hair. Hairstyle. So what do we have? What do we have here? What are we looking at? This is cute. Oh, uh... Ponytail. I do like I do like a ponytail. I'm a fan of a ponytail. This is cute too, though. I'm not usually a fan of like hair that's down or in your face, but I don't know. I feel like they've. Done, I'm I'm giving credit where credits due. That they've. I really like the sweep they've done with this. It looks really cute. Oh man, that looks like um, what's her name? Trainer from Mass Effect 3. Nice. I like it. Let's see. It's cute. This is cute, too. Ooh. Ooh, a shorter, like, not so, not as, like, as, like, puffy as the other one. That's cute. This is gonna be hard now. Ooh, then there's this one. I like this one. Oh, my gosh. I like it. Oh, my gosh. That's so cute. I just, I don't know, it's just, the ones that are like this, from what I've seen in screenshots and stuff, they can, they look like wigs, sort of, sometimes, and it kind of has that look in this too, but I think it's so cute still. Oh, wow, a big ponytail! Oh, that one's cute! I like it! And it, her hair would be so long with this one. I did see on Twitter, they said uh, ages ago, that because Ryder isn't, um... Oops. Um... Military? She has a lot of bigger variety of hair styles and color. That's cute. Oh, that's cute! Out. What's this? Is this a bun? Oh, it's a cute little short ponytail. I like it though. I like the way it sweeps her brains sweep, sweep across her forehead. Nice, the classic shaved look. I think I'm gonna have to go with the big ponytail. That was awesome. Look at that thing. Look at it. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, like, I just, I can't even, I can't even handle how awesome that looks. But let's, does it fit her? You know what I mean? I think it kind of does. Let, let's see, what were the other ones I was looking at? Oh my gosh, that one's cute. It really is. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I think I will be going with black hair. But, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, okay, okay. There was one thing that I super duper love that I, oh my gosh, look at the hair colors. Wow. Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, okay, it's down there. Wow, what a beautiful brown. Oh, uh, it's like a super dark brown. I love it. So these are the normal colors, and then we get into our crazy colors. Oh my gosh, the neon for days. Neon. Neon for days. Wait, wait, wait. That's like a white blonde. I have a thing for white-haired characters. I just, I can't help it. I watched Naruto when I was young and impressionable, and Kakashi was my first crush ever. So... Shut up. <laughs> Uh, I like the black hair, though, because you could never get a good black hair in these games. 
So it's okay, that's like white blonde, right? And then and then this one's like more of a gray silver white. So almost like purple looking. What look at the variety of grays and silvery color you can have. Uh, so if I go with this, the, uh, the black looks good in this. I don't know if I like the white in this. I don't know if I want kind of like a burnished silver look or like almost a, there's like purple. You see that? There's like purple in there, which I do kind of like. Or I could go with this like silver gray. I kind of like that, actually. It's not so like bright. You know? Oh my gosh! Okay, let's go with that for now. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know, I don't know if I like it, but we'll, we'll just, just, let's look at the ponytail in this. Oops. Oh, I don't know, I don't know if white hair looks good on her! But I love white hair! I want a white haired character, I love white hair! It's the best! Let's get her. Let's get, let's play with her eye color. We'll just we'll just mess with stuff and see how it goes. Okay, so this is sort of similar to to Inquisition, which you know there's gonna be obvious comparisons to Inquisition for this game, since it was Bioware's last big game. Completely different um, studio though. So like uh, Montreal, I think, is the one that did Andromeda. I think. Um, oh my gosh, it was another. Canadian one that did that did Inquisition, but outer color and inner color. Okie dokie. Are they gonna give me? How do I do this? Oh wait, wait, wait. Gotta click on it. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is okay. Well, where where's my like the thing that tells me where I'm at on the outside? Like I'm moving the left stick right now, and I'm not. I don't know. Oh, it, is it? It's rot. Oh, it's rotating it. Okay. And so whatever color is at the top is the one that you've got. Okay. Whoa. Look at her already. Hmm. The outer color, kind of a silver. To me. I I have a type that I like. Um So we could give her kind of a tint here though. Maybe we'll go for kind of a purple tint. I do love purple eyes too. When I was little I thought purple eyes were real and I was just waiting for the day to find somebody who had purple eyes, you know? Like I was convinced that purple was an actual eye color. And <clears throat> I had a dental hygienist who had purple eyes, and I was like, I was ecstatic. I told my mom, I was like, look, mom, she, she got purple eyes. And my mom was like, um, she's like, they're contacts, honey. And the lady, like, showed me, like, the contact outline. And I, that was the first time, I was, like, so little. But I remember, like, the world just shattered around me. I was like, I don't, nothing is real. Maybe... From what I've, what, I've, I've only seen one person say it, but they said that if you make the inner color different, it kind of gets rid of this, like, flat look that sometimes, that the writers can have, apparently. But, uh, I just think the white hair, the white hair is not, not working out for her. Hmm, but I love me some silver eyes. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. Well, let's try a dark purple, maybe. Uh, or maybe down here. Yeah, there we go. Getting into the darker purple. Ooh, okay. That could work right there. But let's see. Let's see what she looks like with a, uh,. Oops. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, interesting. I think I was kind of in the blue-purple area before. Ooh. 
See that? If I go kind of in that same spot, it does kind of create a flattish... I could go kind of a brighter purple. I don't know, though. I, 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 li I like where we had it. If I, if I back out, will it... Yes, it will go back. Okay. That's what worked on Inquisition, too. Okay, so let's... Go, whoa! Oh my gosh, did you... No, um... Yes, let me... Okay, whew, okay, wow. That was terrifying. Okay. We've got her selected, so it kept her. Good, freaking, that was, that was scary for a second. The white hair does look kind of cool. Hair color. Oh, the black looks so nice. Is that is that the black we had before? That might actually be a different black. No, it's not. Okay. That's the black we had. Oh, where where'd you go? Where did you come from? Got Nigel. Boop boop boop. Ooh, ooh, ooh though. Ooh though. Look at all these browns. Like reddish browns. How pretty. I actually really do like um Kind of a, a monochrome golden look. That would look pretty. Let me try that. Let's try that out. This video is probably basically just going to be me looking at the characters. I want to show you guys if you want to see the all the character customization options that we've got. And like different variants, you know? Maybe we'll go with this sort of a darker one? Or... I do like that darker one. And the brown, there's a variety of like nice browns. I have brown hair, so it's nice to see such a variety. Ooh, there's a pretty one. And they give you like neon colors too. Like how cool is that? All right, let's try for like, oh, let's see. Oh, buddy. In Inquisition, one of the hardest things to make was like a gold. Or a nice brown, you know? Uh, okay, that's the... Okay, well, we'll just deal with that for now. And then... Nope. Hmm get like a tawny colored eye that'd be cool and that's another thing that I think is cool is like the I like gold and silver eyes Morgan has like the coolest eye color in the history of ever nope um let's see that's getting into yellow I'm like just twitching it out, just twitching it, seeing what it's doing. Let's see, that's kind of a gold. I don't know what they've done, but the the eye color is is much more pronounced than in Inquisition. It was all like it was so difficult to try to find a decent c color thing. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It was so difficult to try to make like a color like this decently but they've done it in the outer color okay well let's go back to hair maybe let's see if we can't find let's maybe mess with maybe a couple of these colors kind of a tawny color well no that's probably not gonna work hmm What I like to think of this maybe is that I know in Mass Effect, at least from what they, from what I remember from the trilogy, was that, I mean, there was getting to be a lot of not getting. I don't know how to say it, but there was a lot of racial intermixing by that point. And I know I've 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 seen. I haven't quite read all of it. I've seen the um, article of the National Geographic where they showed like a picture of what people will eventually look like, what humans will probably eventually look like, and it was this like golden human being. It was really cool looking, just because of all the like racial intermixing. Mixing, that's kind of I guess like the dominant traits that pop out was like golden skin tone, 
golden eyes and like a golden hair and I was like, well, hey man, if that's what we turn into, that wouldn't be so bad. But I like that idea of like not being like constrained to just like any one thing, like, I don't know, I was kind of trying to recreate my, I, I have distant ancestors are Native American and I was just kind of trying to maybe make a character that looked kind of Native American, but the, the Weot tribe, that was my tribe back, way back. My great grandma lives on the reservation, but or near it actually. I don't think she lives on it. But yeah. I don't make any claims to anything like that. I just think it's cool and I would maybe like to honor that somehow with a character, but I don't know if it's gonna work out that way. <laughs> but I did I I really did like the black. It was nice. It was nice. Oh wow, there's different different shades of black or uh, that looks black. And black, dark brown. That that was that one black that we started out with. That kind of has. That's like super shiny. Whoa! You see that? Her forehead shined for a second. I like that black. That's super black. It looks really good. I just gotta get rid of the makeup. I gotta get rid of the makeup, and then I'll be able to focus. Uh, I'm still torn on the eyes. I might make purple eyes. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's a makeup. It looks like a USB stick. <laughs> okay. Eyeliner style. Let's do this. How do you How do you do this? Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> Oh, it's not, I was like, okay, how much, how thick is the eyeliner going to be on? But, oh my gosh, what can we do with this? Oh my gosh. Where's that, why, why give me the style first and not the color? Jeez. Okay, wow. Uh, this is cool. It's like, uh, you can, you can kind of see it. It's got like little, like, lines coming out of it. That's neat. Oops. Uh... Oh, cool. Um, cooler. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to do anything that might overshadow a tattoo. So that's like a normal, oops, a normal eyeliner sort of a thing. Maybe that more normal. I don't know. That one's just under the eye. I like that one. Or... No, I think I like the first one. We'll see. Oh, wait. Nope. Uh, that one. But then... Eyeliner opacity. Okay, that's good. Color. I don't- I don't want reddish orange. Um... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. That one kind of matches my eyes. Uh, maybe I'll do... No, my Raven Shepherd had these bright green eyes that I was just in love with. Maybe white. White would be cool. Oh, wait. Uh, come on, it's taking, it's taking so long to go down. Maybe... Or just black. I like black, too. You can't really see it as black. Mm, that's okay. For now. We'll just leave it. Eyeshadow. I don't think I have any eyeshadow on. Eyeshadow color. We need, we need lipstick. Just lipstick style. Like, what? What? Oh my gosh, are they- they are fulfilling every- wait a second. Wait a second. I might have to go with no lip, but are they... I think I saw a picture of one where you could do something like that. Where was the- there was another one that I thought you was just the bottom lip. Had a line through it. 
Or is it the top and the bottom like that? Hmm. I don't know. I generally go no makeup. Oops. Yeah, okay, that doesn't matter. Lipstick, gloss. We don't have any gloss. What is the color? Doesn't matter. Blush. Uh, can I just take it off? Blush style. What does that mean? What? Oh my gosh. Hang on. Let's turn it. We gotta turn it up. Oh my gosh. Who puts blush on like that? <gasps> Give me alien scales! Oh my gosh. But what if- what happens when I get a tattoo? What happens when I get a tattoo? <laughs> my dad's gonna be so mad at me. Blush color. <laughs> Uh, the purple looks cool for now. No, I didn't know. Uh, okay. Let's, let's check out tattoos. Scars, scars would be cool, but let's look at tattoos first. Whoa. Yeah, we're gonna have no makeup on because the tattoos... <gasps> Tattoos are gonna be cool! What's this one? Do I get any on the back of my neck? Oh! Neat! And it's probably the other ear. Okay. Oh, neat! I'm impressed! Oh! That one's so cool, too! That's probably on the other ear. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Tattoo options are just, they're out of this one. Oh, nice, nice. Tattoo op, okay, wait, wait, wait. We gotta go, we gotta, gotta get out of here. And take off the blush, because it's ruining it's ruining everything. <laughs> it's not actually that's really cool. I like so you could do maybe just the scales. That would be cool. I think I really want a uh, a tattoo though. What what about scars? Like dang, like what kind of scars do they have? Oh sick. Nice. Nice! So I'm totally, from what I, I think what I read is that they, if they give you, I think I read something where like they give you kind of a background for each rider and the male rider works more like on like, uh, mili I don't know, mili they're both military, but from what, what I remember explicitly was that your female rider tend to help escort, uh, exploration missions and was like more into like sciencey stuff. And I was like, score, cause I'm an archeologist. If you haven't figured it out from what I said already today, <laughs> And I was just like, this game, uh, the biggest thing I'm excited for is the exploration and finding old cultural remnants. And as long as we treat the existing and pre-existing cultures with respect, I will be 100% in love with this game. If we don't, I'm going to have some problems. What? You, what did you lay on? Like, uh, 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 did you like heat up one of those like grill things and lay on it? Like, what did you, what did you do? What did you, how did you get that scar? Hang on, let me turn my face. This isn't scar style. This isn't scar tissue. This is face paint. These don't look like scars. These look like face paint. That one's cool. Okay. Cool. These really what 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 was that what? How do you get a scar like that? And how does a scar heal like that? Like, it looks like she got a whole slice of her skin just whoosh, just ripped right off. Like somebody like cut one in and just ripped it off. And and scars don't heal like that. That's cool looking. Oh my gosh, so is that. Whoa. This really looks like face paint. Oh, okay. It's like taking a second to come in. Maybe the graphics. Haha, <laughs> sorry graphics. 
Dang, that one looks intense. So, but yeah, I think my writer is definitely really into the exploration and the sciencey stuff, and I'm I'm excited. I'm so excited for that. Okay, let's. They gave you tons of scars. Jeez, I'm gonna go look at the tattoo first. <laughs> Oh, which tattoo do I want? I mean, that's cool. It's like somebody hacked your face. And that's like wicked. Like, like what even, like, somebody hacked your whole face. Like, just down the middle to screw with you. But those ones that were, like, on the ears were so cool. Like, that's, that's kind of different. Like, usually tattoos are very prominently displayed on the front of your face. Like, in these kinds of games, you know? But having it on the side of your face is really cool. See, that one's on your forehead. That one's really cool. That'd be a cool, like, if you made, like, a, like, a, like a character of Indian descent. That'd be pretty cool to have. I mean, anybody would be cool to have, legit, but that's what I thought of. I really like this one. I wonder if the tattoos, like, have meaning at all? I'll feel really dumb if they do. That one looks kind of like the Ark. Like, just, I don't know, it makes me think of what I've seen of the, the Hyperion or the Ark or whatever. Um, and that one, that one's legit. Um, I think I really liked the triangle one. I don't know, to me it kind of indicates like a, like a Buddhist sort of a balance, Hindu type thing. I, I don't know a lot. I've been reading the Ramayana, if anybody's been, if anybody has read that, it's really good. I highly recommend it. I have a, I have a copy, it's like a modern retelling by Ramesh... Oh, I can't remember the whole name, but it's really, really good. It's written by an Indian man, and, and he's retelling the Indian legend, and or just sort of a modern, not retelling it, but telling like a modern, in kind of modern words. And I have, well, I'll just say, let me just say, the first thing right off the bat is that I have never read something so colorful in my life. Like, like, like the the way they describe colors is is just, just blows me away. I like, I don't even know what to do with it. I really like this one too, though. Like, I just like the, sim the simple, the simple nature of it. Just the circular, simple style. So it's that one. Or that one. Which side of Ryder will I see more? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna help me decide. I think, uh, I think I'll go with this one. And I like the dark blue. Let's see, is it is it a dark? Oh, it's kind of a gray. Cool. I don't really want to change it unless I come up with something different that I want to do. Okay, I got I got to do something with her eyes. If we're gonna have black hair, then I kind of want silver eyes. Oops. Um, click on it. Ooh, the green looks cool. I guess let's just like cycle through the colors maybe and see what they kind of look like. See what kind of jumps out at us. I have a black, uh, black haired, purple eyed character. My, my renegade shepherd is black eyed and purple haired. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with with silver eyes. I think we'll see. With maybe like a purple tint. Maybe like just going one color, like all the way to the extreme end of one or the other. That might make your eyes a bit flat. So it might be a good idea to go with like sort of a color. Oop! No, dang it. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. But I was trying to go for the purple. Kind of a purple tint. Ooh. Wow. Those are like light, like a light violet, maybe, sort of. I like it. Or we could do... Like a... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm pressing the wrong ones all over the place. Uh, kind of a... Like a white inner... 
We'll just go a white inner and then like a purple tinted outer, maybe. Will that? Ooh, that's cool. That actually kind of makes her eyes pop a little bit. All right, that kind of makes them pop a little more. I like it. Well. I don't know. I should just kind of leave it as like a lighter color. Because I was worried that maybe having the whiter color on the outside might make it blend in too much with the with the with the whites of your eyes, you know? But it looks like that's not gonna really be a problem. I mean they're distinct, even with my graphics as they are. Let's see if I can't maybe make it I'm a fan of light eyes. Alright, maybe she looks a little bit scary. Maybe I should darken them up just a little tiny bit. It'd be cool if you could get like an maybe maybe you know, maybe I'll go gray. Could I go gray? I do like gray eyes too. Let's see. Ah, we could go with a gray, that'd be cool. Gray eyes, black hair. Hmm. So maybe, so what right now we have. Okay. So darker on the inside. So let's try to make it maybe darker on the outside, on the inside. And see how that goes. Wait, wait, oh well. We'll kind of leave it in the purple range, just in case. Or like a like a sea gray would be cool, you know what I mean? Maybe we'll kind of go with that and then I don't know if you could like the like the color of the ocean on a cloudy day, you know what I mean? Is that what I'm going like it? Hmm. It's difficult. I don't think that's really going to have much of a tint to it of the blue. This is the inner color. It's hard to tell. So maybe we'll make the inner color kind of gray. Wait, well, what? Gray. Uh, and then the outer color, kind of that teal. Or that, that sort of sea green, sea foam color, you know what I mean? I love messing with this kind of stuff. Hmm. I legit don't want the eyes to be too bright. They'll look weird. I don't know if this is quite... It's like almost too blue to be gray. You know what I mean? It's like either go blue or gray, but I kind of want a happy mix. Maybe that. That's kind of a... I mean, or I could just kind of go with this like full-on like sea green. I don't know. I like, I like the gray-eyed look. It's nothing like, you know, spectacular or like maybe even noticeable. Might be forgettable, but I like it. 
Okay, hold on a second. Apparently, there's eyeshadow that I haven't looked at and showed you guys yet. So, uh, wow. I didn't, they just really, wow. Hang on, hang on. Let's, let's, let's get like a black or something and we'll go from there. Okay. Eyeshadow style. That is so cool. Ooh, that's cool. Also cool. It's like PB's look. That one. Uh, okay, that's like normal eyeshadow. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, space pox. What's this one? Is this anything? Is it normal? I can't tell. Oh, it's just like outlines the eyeliner. Oh, okay. Well, where was it at? Like, uh... 70-ish. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm so tempted to have the scales. Ugh. It's so tempting. But no, no. Okay, I think I've, uh, I think I've done everything I want. It looks, she looks really good. Uh, it's a skin tone. And this is, I'm just gonna kind of do this for myself too. If I can't actually upload this character, then I'm gonna look but this is, these are all the, you can kind of see on the right side, all the, like, stats or whatever I've given her. Um, I feel pretty good about it. I'm hoping, I, I did no, lower the nose and mouth a tiny bit. I think I heard that that was a good idea, but I don't know. Um, and then we have, of course, this hairstyle. That's what she looks like, her profile and the hair color. Eye color, we did kind of go for a gray with a slight, at least what I thought was maybe. No, we did, we did, we went, I decided to go all gray because I was like, it's either go gray or go sea green. I did change the eyeliner style, eyeliner pass. I always put eyeliner on my characters because it makes the eyes look better anyway. So it's always just black, it's just easier that way. Oh, and I chose the eyeshadow I chose. <laughs> so it looks pretty cool. So all just black, no lipstick, and no blush. And then, obviously, this is the tattoo, but I did darken it up a bit. It's a very, it's still in that sea green range, but it's a very dark color. So, yeah. I think that looks good. She looks good. I'm excited. Let's see, kind of, I can kind of see her from the distance. Ooh, 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 she looks super good. Okay, I think I think I'm happy. I think I'm happy with her. Oh boy, and now we gotta do this. Oh uh, choose my training. Okay. Um security. You're effectively designed biotic. Designated biotic you were effectively designated biotic during your alliance military tenure. Assisting your cohorts with your ability to control mass effect fields. Throw! I want throw! I got that wait, that was oh no, that was no, no, okay, wait, okay, I went, I actually went down. That was bio, I was like, what do you mean you were biotic? You were focused on learning everything you could about weapons and tactics, starting power, concussive shot, um, fire, fires a heat seeking high impact round to knock down opponents. You can get turbo charge, grants a massive short, I know you can, I mean, and I'm, from what I can tell, you can mix and match. They, they were pretty big on that, combat fitness, but I don't know if these are exclusive to... I don't know, but you, you can jump around. I don't know, that's why I'm kind of unsure why we're getting this training thing. So that's basically your soldier, then you've got your biotic and your singularity and barrier. Technician gets overload and can chain to multiple targets, hack into your opponents. Armor and weapons. Oh wait, is there more? No, okay. Leader. Team player and a natural leader. You're working closely with your cohorts. You get energy drain for your own shields. Annihilation. When you're shifting aura of mass effect fields around you to slowly damage. Whoa, cool. Scrapper. When a fight broke out, you're always the first soldier in the thick of it, mostly according to Alliance Military Protocol and occasionally not. Charge. You get combat, fitness, and charge. Okay. Operative. You study covert operations 
and you get what well, you only get so you get combat fitness and tactical cloak that's it and and, and combat fitness and charge i'm gonna go biotic because i want to start throwing things current training okay nice current name i'm changing my name and i think what i want to name her because i had a list of names but recently I read, um, I read, uh, The Catalyst, or Catalyst, which is a Rogue One novel, and I really liked, uh, G or, um, Ray's mom, or whatever her name, whatever her name is, hang on, let me, let me remember. Lyra. I kind of wanted to name her Lyra, because that's, um, Jin's mom, and she's like this... Really, like, I didn't like her in Rogue One. I don't really know why she left her daughter behind. That's just something that I think was kind of weird. Um, but I liked her in Catalyst, which is the first book about uh, Galen Urso and Lyra Urso. And Lyra is like this, she's like a geologist, archaeologist type person. Or she works with archaeologists a lot anyway. And she's like, but she mostly does like geology and like exploration. And she's, re she's really into exploring as many planets as possible. So, I think I'm gonna name her Lyra. Let me choose the name. Okay. Lyra. Customize my twin. You definitely need some customized, some customization in twin. How do I... Eh. How do I make it? Can I just be like, oh, does, is this the one who's, he kind of looks like me? Does he kind of start to look, does he like come become based off of you or something? Let's see. I will not spend as much time on my twin. Oh, dang, bro. Dang, you went through your rebellious phase already. And you never stopped. Okay. It's like the exact same thing, but a little, but maybe not as poofy. No. <laughs> uh, that was the one we had, I think. Whoa, nice! That was really cool. Kind of don't know why they didn't give this to girls, though. But you girls would be rocking that look, too. That looks cool. Guarantee you girls would have wanted that. Jeez, alright. Well, I think I like the second one, actually. Floof. Nope, not the second one. Maybe the first one? Uh, might be a bit much, bro. Let's get the, let's get the next one, the next one down. Maybe that one? I don't know. We'll go with that one. Maybe, okay, if you if, they, if you can't have a tattoo, you can have a scar. Do you want the scar that makes it look like you landed on a dignab grate of some sort? Somehow, for some reason? Just really, maybe if I up the scar intensity, would that help your case? You have bad posture, bro. What exactly? I mean, dang, like, you just, you just literally just recently popped out of a crash of some sort. Okay, I can kind of see where they're going with it now. Like, it looks a little more in certain instances like scars, but those ones don't look like scars. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to give him something that, like, covers his whole face. Let's give him that. That one looks cool. Dude, do bro, though. I, I need your... Or, uh, I need your... No, uh... Eyeshadow to be darker. I don't know what it is, but... It's not very red. 
All right, I think I'm ready to go, my bro. Looks good to me. Did not. Sp I spent like ten minutes on him and like two hours on my rider, but you know, he looks good. He looks good. Customize our history. Oh right, we can choose the gender. I had a girl. She was a girl. Upload character data. Import character data? Okay, I don't think I have an account or something. Oh, okay. That looks like that might have worked. Okay, let's see uh, if we can start this. Actual addendum now, instead of a pre-addendum or whatever I wanted to do at the beginning. Um, the game did not work. Frame rates were so bad it was watching like watching a slideshow. I only got like a minute into the into the intro where they're like showing off the arc, you know, like in space and stuff. And that's it. So I actually just exited out of the game completely because it was basically like watching a slideshow. So. Thank you guys for watching. For new, If there's anybody new who's watching, I appreciate you sticking around either this long or having jumped to the end. I appreciate it. The next video, like I said, will not have any frame rate issues. It's going to be beautiful and lovely. For those of you who have been here with me, I hope you're enjoying again as well. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks.